Let's now go to Pia Bonalo. She's at a restaurant in Makati City that serves fire brick, oven roasted traditional Filipino dishes. Good morning, Pia. Hi, good morning, Amelyn. For those of you who want a taste of the food prepared by Chef Laudico but are on a tight budget, it's time for you to check out Chef Lau's Pogon Roaster. With me is owner Robbie Raya to tell us more about it. Hi, good morning, Robbie. Hi, good morning. Can you tell us about Chef Lau's Pogon Roasters? What kinds of foods do we have in the menu? You, you know Chef Lau, he's known for, uh, for uh, creating Filipino dishes, but uh, it's more of, he's known for being more of uh, putting out fine dining restaurants. So when I met with him, uh, when uh, his new partners came in, uh, we, we wanted to create uh, a cheaper, more affordable alternative. Uh, we, want to make a, we wanted to make a fast food restaurant. So we came up with uh, Chef Laos Pugon Roasters. Um, all our dishes are, uh, are roasted in a, in a fire brick oven in Pugon. Um, and uh, as, uh, as I said a while ago, they're very, very affordable. What makes it different when it's roasted, Pugon roasted, as compared to the usual rotisseries we have out there? Because when you talk about uh, Pugon roasting, it's, uh, it, gives, uh, it gives a dish more of a smoky flavor. Okay, here in front of us, which ones here are pugon roasted? This uh, this chicken right here, uh, our one fourth uh, signature chicken, uh, that's pugon roasted. This one, uh, Angus uh, roast beef. It's uh, we put a lot of work into into this one because this is uh, slow roasted for eight hours overnight. Wow, for eight hours, for and eight how much hours. is a dish like this, the Angus beef? Angus beef is uh, one sixty nine. Wow. If you want something cheaper, uh, our one fourth uh, original chicken is for only ninety nine pesos, and both with uh, rice. Na. Wow, very very affordable, and I can't wait to know how that smoky smoky uh, smoky taste of these dishes would taste like. And then aside from that, you also have other dishes on the menu that are not pugon roasted, but with Chef Lau's. Um, signature touch. Can you tell me about this dish right here? Yeah, Chef Lau is, uh, as I said a while ago, he's known for putting twists into mm -hmm. Filipino food. So right here we have uh, uh, the famous street uh, uh, food. This uh, this our version of the isa. We call it a uh, crispy chickenini. <laughs> it's a uh, it's it's a fried crispy fried isa in rich adobo sauce. And right here. Um, uh, the fried chicken adobo. It's a, uh, it's a very. It, it puts a, a new thing to the the, the adobo we normally have mm -hmm. in, in our homes. This one's fried. Yeah, you can see the chicken is fried right here, yep. and then the adobo sauce is all over the plate, just the way I want to enjoy my adobo with the sauce all over my definitely, rice. Definitely, definitely. And, and then there are seasigs also. There, there we have a seasig festa. Mm -hmm. It's it's a it's a panel in our menu. This one is a Angus Angus seasoning, mm -hmm. um, and this one is a chicken seasoning. Wow! When you say Angus seasoning, when you say there's it has Angus beef in it, obviously. How much is something like that? Angus seasoning uh, is uh, one forty nine. Wow! And this one's the chicken seasoning is eighty nine pesos. Everything so affordable, and of course, you also have an extensive dessert menu. Can you tell yep. me about your dessert menu? Um, this one, created by Chef Jack uh, Laudico, is uh, the very Filipino version of a cheesecake. This is uh, queso de bola cheesecake. Wow! And for the and for the guys, for the ladies mm -hmm. who who love uh, dark chocolate, we have uh, tablea. The tablea cake, it's a very rich uh, dark chocolate. Wow, and I'm one of those ladies who are such big fans of yeah. dark chocolate. And then you say it's made of tablea, so it gives that that native flavor that I'm sure would be really lovely to the taste. And you also have, of course, one of the most favorite desserts of Filipinos out there, which is, of course, the halo-halo. What makes this, your halo-halos here, different from the usual halo-halos? Yes, but if you want to have a, if you have a Filipino restaurant, you have to have mm -hmm. the halo-halo. That's automatic. Right here, 
uh, is the halo-halo. What, but what, uh, what's different about it though is uh, the ice cream is made from real Carabao's milk. Mm. So, ibang iba yung lasa mo. How, how different is it yung Carabao's milk from the usual milk that we have? Anong classing flavor ang meron niya? Chef Laos Pugon Roasters kasi we, we, we use no MSG, ah. all natural ingredients. So, when you uh, get to taste the halo-halo, uh, specifically the Carabao's milk ice cream, it's, it's, a, it's, it has a very, very natural taste. And then this one right here? It's the Ube Kapuno Sunday. Wow, sounds all everything sounds so good for those who can't get enough of chicken. I know you have something coming up for them. Yeah, uh, I, I would like to invite all of you. Uh, starting tomorrow, uh, we we're gonna have a, a new promo. It's called the Only Chicken Chicken. How much will that be? For for two sixty, uh, two hundred sixty pesos, you can have unlimited chicken, unlimited isaw. Unlimited liver, unlimited seasick. So everything chicken on our menu, unlimited. Wow, that sounds so good. Thank you so much for sharing it with us this morning, Robbie. Now I know where to go if I want to break my diet. 260 pesos for all the chicken I can eat right here in Chef Lau's Pugon Roasters. Emeline? I'll break my diet as well, Pia. Thank you so much.